Let's get out onto the course at Carnoustie and to the seventh tee. And here's the man who's just become a dad to little Frankie and is now fully focused on winning the race to Dubai, leading by about a million points. Tee shot at seven. Sam Torrance alongside me for this first session of play. Another beautiful day, although a cold one, Sam. Yes, it's uh, a fine day for Carnoustie. One of the toughest co courses on the planet, Carnoustie. Back to Fleetwood at seven. Wasn't quite sure what to expect when he finally came back after that long break to enjoy the birth of his first son, but he'll be pretty encouraged by how quickly he's settled back in. He's played a lot of good golf, Tommy. Aware that he's will be challenged at the top of the race to Dubai by the likes of Sergio Garcia and John Ram. A lot of money at stake over the next few weeks. It should push the ball a little bit left as it goes down. Not that much to look for. This is for two birdies in a row. Good try from Tommy there, almost. 191 yards is what it's playing today from the back tee, which does bring these bunkers on the right into play. Put it right at the back of the green. Front of the green, the first seven yards is kind of out of play. If your ball pitch is there, it's going to stop dead, maybe even run off the green. So you've got to get it up to the flag. I did well to stop. That was a fantastic shot from Tommy there. Freeze two at the eighth. The hold positions stay the same for each day. They don't move them, so that's the same for every player. So sometimes they get a little bit scruffy, the hole edges. This uh, ninth hole is an interesting drive. It's a narrow fairway, quite well left in the side of the pine trees. There's out of bounds, and there's also a little hazard that goes down the right hand side, but it's also sort of 10 yards off the fairway on the right. So neither should come into play, but the bunkers might. It's a beautiful swing from Fleetwood. Everything absolutely right on line. Well struck shot to the heart of the green for Fleetwood, so on this ninth, that's more than acceptable. It's a huge number of claw and variations of the claw on tour now, isn't that? It's really taken over from the, the belly method. Yeah, there is. I think it just takes a little bit of the right hand out of it. As I say, off the upslope, you should be able to get this nice and high in the air, but the thick grass might make it just roll out a touch when it hits the green. A little left the way he's leaning, but very well played, as Dale said, playing for the heart of the green. Didn't really jump around. jump, but it kind of backed up. Oh, it was a lovely strike. It'll make his putt for a birdie miles easier. Oh, it was a beautiful shot from Fleetwood. Wow. Very well judged out of the rough, not easy at all. Ten on the stump meter, so this is a fastish putt as it comes down the hill for Fleetwood after his drive. This will be a good birdie if it goes in. And it did indeed. A lovely stroke. That club face was so square all the way through. Went from right to left, so that's helping. He's got 200 and just under 220. He wants to pitch the ball 
just a little right of the flag to take those two bunkers out of play, but also the slopes that uh, go over the sides of those two bunkers. You want to take that out of play as well. Excellent shot from Fleetwood. Tough to get to that front left pin. Great effort there from Fleetwood. He should tap that in for his birdie. Playing 177 today, the pin on the back portion of the green. Oh, what a magnificent shot. Rolling past, but absolutely splitting the pin. Well, almost. In this putt. Just a little bit downhill, and if anything, it could turn from right to left. He certainly mustn't leave the hole, though. Well, he didn't, Dale, straight in the middle. Great birdie for Tommy Fleetwood. He gets to within one of the lead. Tommy Fleetwood's putt, I've just measured it out, it's 105 feet. It's going to turn a little bit from right to left. All about trying to just get the pace correct. Oh, that was very impressive. Having to go over that little ridge in the green that divides the double green, the fourth and the fourteenth. <laughs> Absolutely unlucky, my goodness. Wow. Oh, for goodness sake. That was for nine under for the day. He's eight under. As Ken said, one more birdie to break the course record. Can't imagine. 63 getting beat. They're scared to take the pin out in case they touch the ball. <laughs> but he'll probably pitch it about 14 or 15 feet on the green and then allow it to run out. That's precisely what Tommy Fleetwood did, and beautifully judged. Birdie at the hole, this birdie at the last to break the course record. But it shouldn't be, shouldn't bother him at all. It's a perfect lie. Not even a full wedge shot. This for uh, Tommy Fleetwood, straight downwind. He wants to pitch it, maybe six or eight yards short of the hole because it will run out because of the wind. Good shot from Fleetwood. He'll have that to break break the course record that for a 63 doesn't appear to have hold long putts or done anything too dramatic it's just been an incredibly solid performance and as you said Doogie after six weeks off I mean he's just come back looking exactly the same the swing is identical he's putting fine strokes good and this would be a really wonderful round of golfing cold conditions and he's made it too well done Tommy the first 63 around the championship course at Carnoustie well done a new course record superb To watch another European Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.